Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a close fitting dress block. So for this block you're going to need a close fitting bodice block which I will link below. So to start you're going to need to trace around the front and the back blocks making sure to place both side seams together. Okay so starting off we're going to start with the back and then we're going to shape the waist. So at the line in the back you're going to want to create a dart that is going to be 3.5 centimeters wide. So you're going to want to measure um, 0.75 centimeters each side of the line and then draw a line joining both of these new points up at the top of that line. So at the back side seam you're going to want to measure the side seam in by 1.5 centimeters and then draw a line from this point up to the armhole and this is going to be your new side seam. So at the front side seam you're going to measure in 2.5 centimeters and then you're going to draw a line from this point right up to the armhole and this is going to be your new front side seam. So on the front you're going to want to create another dart and this is going to be 4.5 centimeters wide. So you're going to want to measure 2.25 centimeters each side of that line and then you're going to want to draw a line from both of these new points up to the end of the existing dart. So go ahead and mark in points 1, 2, 3 and 4 as I've done in the video. So from points 1 and 4 you're going to want to square down using a ruler. So taking your measuring tape from the highest point of the pattern, which is the top of the shoulder, you're going to want to measure down the chosen length of your dress. So at this point you're going to square across and mark in points 5 and 6 on the lines that you've drawn down from 1 and 4. So midway between 5 and 6 you're going to want to mark in 7 and then square up to number 8. Join points 3 and 8 and then points 2 and 8 with a curved ruler. Now you're going to want to extend both darts down by 13 centimeters and then join them together using a ruler. So lastly you're going to want to add all your information um, onto your finished pattern and then you can continue to work on this pattern if you want or you can copy it onto cardboard to make a solid block. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did please share and give a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. Also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!